Hello everyone, my name is Adam Reeples Fox, and in this video I'm going to be walking you through how to edit video on your smartphone using Cyberlink Power Director for mobile. Now this video is actually sponsored by Cyberlink. We have partnered together here for a sponsored video, but this will be a tutorial. I'm going to walk you through briefly the basics of editing video on your smartphone using this mobile app. It's a pretty cool mobile app to actually edit video. And so when you start out here and ask you to create a new project, I've already, I was working on one earlier just as a test. So if you want to start a new one, just click new project and give it a name. And then you have, you have a full featured, you know, non-linear editor in LE timeline here available and then it pulls up all the different sources that you can get photos videos or music from uh, which which is really cool and so then you can start dragging in your footage so if i go over here to camera by the way and by the way this app is totally free link down the link will be in the description below you can download it and try it out for yourself uh, there are some in-app purchases to get rid of like a watermark or advertisements or things like that but the core app itself is actually a free download which will be linked in the description below. Download, install it, and then once you're in your timeline here, you can start importing clips from your various sources, which includes cloud syncing from Google Drive, or you can capture it yourself. Now, I can't click this and actually do it right now, or it'll screw up my recording, because you can't video capture while you're recording your screen, uh, but you can choose your camera, it, it automatically detects different folders, so it has a YouTube tips, uh, YouTube tip hashtag video I did for Twitter, it has my camera profile with a bunch of videos I recorded on my camera here. And then it has the previous Power Director video I made as well. And then it can also import stuff from your Google Drive. It takes a little bit to sync and load it up here, but it can load audio and video and photos and such from your Google Drive, which means if you don't want to, like if, you, if there are assets you want to use for your videos, such as like a lower third or music or extra video clips that you don't want to have to download manually to your phone, Drop them in your Google Drive and it should pop up here once it's synced up and everything. Now I will say this as a minor issue I personally have with the software is I record my rear-facing smartphone camera videos in full in full 4K. And it won't it says my device does not support the video resolution for the 4K video. And that may be because my phone does not have a full 4K screen. But that's a tad annoyance because a lot of my video files aren't. But if you're set with the defaults in your camera profile and things like that, then you're going to be totally fine. So I'm just going to drag in a couple clips here. We're not going to make anything too cohesive, but I'm going to show you how it works. So you literally just drag your video clip down to the timeline to add it, and then you just scroll across here to scroll across your video. And then you can pinch in and out, so it's very intuitive. It's, it works just like an actual smartphone app should, but you have timeline controls for your video. So if you go to, if we say back on the camera so we can be focused on our video clip here, it has tutorial tips that it can show up, so I'm actually going to uncheck this one because I've seen it a couple times. But once you pull up the clip on your timeline and click on it, then you have these little circles which you can use to change the duration of your clip and change, you know, where it starts and stops. And then you can even, if you drag it to a certain point and click on it, you have this little razor tool to split the video right here. And then I can select that clip and get rid of that part. So then we just have this part of this clip. So then we can go back to my, so then if we go to the music and video clips folder here and let's pull in the Twitter video clip as well, just to make it. So I'm gonna click it, drag it in here, plop it right next to the first one. And then here we have the option to add a transition. So you click that little square and you have a lot of transitions available to you. Like this is like your basic set from like Premiere or anything like that, all available to you right here. So I'm gonna use evaporate painted lines, why not? and it just adds it over top that line, and then you can do it anytime you split and add multiple video clips together, which is really cool. You can also add effects to clips. You can flip it horizontally, you can adjust the colors. You can change the brightness, contrast, saturation, brighten it up since it was a kind of dark clip, add a little saturation to make it look a lot more colorful. You can crop it, which we're not gonna use for this clip. Then same thing if we actually come over here, and add in a, a sticker down here. See, so you can add in videos, images, or stickers. If we add a sticker, they have a lot of cool stuff. So by default, you only have a few installed, but then if you go to get more, there's top and new, and there's just a lot of ones that they have available on their website that you can actually download, which is pretty interesting. There's like photo frames. You can add a little photo frame effect and you just click it and choose the cloud icon, download it to your phone, celebration thingy. Like you can add all sorts of stuff over top of your video here and then they will show up in your stickers part. So we will add the photo frame. 
And if we move the timeline, we have a nice little pretty photo frame around us. And if the other one's popped up here, sticker. We've got celebration, road trip. We have a little like button or like the Facebook like button that we're going to add that will then resize to fit our full video clip. We can make it a little smaller, bring it down in this corner. Make sure we remind people to like our video. And then once you're good to go, you can play your video back or go ahead and render it out. You can save the project, which of course you always want to do, and then produce the video. Now here you can automatically upload it to Facebook or YouTube. More output options, you can change the video quality, or you can save it to your gallery to upload yourself, which is what I'm going to do. And then just click produce, and you're good to go. I will have a full copy of any videos that I've made messing around with this up in a playlist in the link in the description below if you'd like to just see sample videos. I do hope you enjoyed the video guys. If you did, smash the like button, get subscribed for more awesome videos, and otherwise I will catch you in the next one.